Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use your phone to 3D print any STL file onto your FlashForge Adventure 5N 3D printer today. And I'm pretty new to this and I haven't found any any videos or any help on really trying to figure this out. I'm new to 3D printing too, so I hope this helps today. So let's get into it. Okay, to start off, I use printables.com and they have a whole bunch of free STLs that you can use and what, whichever one you pick, you click on it, come down to download, make sure it says STL on it, then you want to hit download that file, I already downloaded that one, then you want to come up, and then go to polar 3d that's the best website i found to use for my phone on the flashforge 3d printer and what you want to do next is go up to upload and then you hit browse files photos and videos and then you click on the file you just downloaded and then hit upload then after that go to load to build plate and it will pop up and as you can see there's nothing I can't scroll down no further but if you click on the object then you come down that's where you can move scale it to size or rotate it also if you click on settings you can select the infill amount, shell thickness, resolution, platform adhesive type, support type, and then if you're happy with all that, you can um let me move this back to the correct spot. Go back to move. And one thing you want to make sure if you do move it, uh, of course I would, okay. If you do end up moving it, you want to make sure it's on the build plate. It's flush to the build plate. Oh, what happened there? Make sure it's flush to the build plate. If it's off a little bit, you can adjust it. And then bring it up just a little bit above the build plate. And it will adjust it back down. Then after you're happy with that, you want to scroll down, select your printer, and then when you're ready, hit print, and it will load up, and then if you have multiple, multiple in queue, you want to make sure that the one you just selected, you want to send it to the front of the job. And then you'll be ready to print. Then you scroll up, hit start. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get to start. Maybe it'll work the first try. Yep. Then let me take you inside real fast. Oh, this is my dog, Monroe. Okay. Then one thing I do like to do is hit cancel. Then okay. Then select your go down to objects. And then click on the first first one. That'll be the one you just downloaded and canceled. And I like to do this is because when I just do it straight from my phone, it will be, it won't, the table won't be level and it will usually mess it up. So you want to hit leveling, then just hit print and it will start. And I'll throw this onto time lapse and we'll watch it print.
Okay. And there we go. I just did this just for a quick sample to show you guys how to actually use your phone to be able to 3D print anything on your Adventure or Flash Forge Adventure 5N. Like I said, I couldn't find no videos on how to do this before and and I hope this helps you guys out. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.